the discovery of water on Mars is one of the most significant findings in the history of Mars exploration. In 2015, NASA announced that liquid water flows intermittently on the Martian surface. This discovery was made by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, using its High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment, High Rise, camera. High Rise observed dark, narrow streaks on the Martian surface that appear to change over time. These streaks, known as recurring slope linee, RSL, are believed to be caused by liquid water flowing intermittently on the Martian surface. The discovery of water on Mars has important implications for the potential habitability of the planet. Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it, and the presence of liquid water on Mars suggests that the planet may have once been habitable. Additionally, the discovery of water on Mars opens up the possibility of using the planet as a resource for future human exploration. Water can be used for drinking, growing food, and making rocket fuel. The water on Mars is not in the form of lakes or rivers as we know it on Earth, but instead it's in the form of brine or salty water. This is due to the low pressure on Mars, which causes water to evaporate quickly and turn into a brine. This brine can flow down the surface of the planet when the temperature is warm enough, creating the RSLs. The RSLs are typically found at the bottom of slopes, such as in craters or canyon walls, and are thought to be formed by water flowing down the slope and evaporating as it reaches the bottom. The detection of methane spikes on Mars is a surprising discovery that has generated a lot of interest in the scientific community. In 2019, NASA's Curiosity rover detected sudden spikes of methane in the Martian atmosphere. This is significant because methane is a key ingredient for life as we know it, and the presence of methane on Mars suggests that the planet may have a subsurface biosphere. The source of the methane on Mars is still unknown, but there are several potential explanations. One possibility is that the methane is being produced by microbial life, similar to how methane is produced on Earth by certain types of microorganisms. Another possibility is that the methane is being produced by geological processes, such as the breakdown of water and carbon dioxide. The detection of methane spikes on Mars is also intriguing because the methane is not present in the atmosphere at all times. Instead, it is present in sudden spikes that last for a few weeks before disappearing. This suggests that the source of the methane is not a constant, steady release, but rather episodic. The detection of methane on Mars has led to further research and investigation to understand its origin. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, a collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency, was launched in 2016 to study the Martian atmosphere in detail, including the search for methane, and in 2021 it has confirmed the presence of methane and other gases in the Martian atmosphere. The next step is to find out the source of the methane and understand the processes that are responsible for it. The discovery of organic compounds on Mars is a significant finding in the history of Mars exploration. In 2018, NASA's Curiosity rover found evidence of ancient organic compounds on the Martian surface. Organic compounds are molecules that contain carbon and hydrogen, and are considered to be building blocks of life as we know it. The discovery of organic compounds on Mars adds to the evidence that the planet may have once been habitable. The organic compounds were discovered in samples of Martian soil that were drilled from sedimentary rocks in the Gale Crater. The samples were analyzed by the rover's Sample Analysis at Mars, SAM, instrument, which is capable of detecting a wide range of organic compounds. The organic compounds that were detected include thiophene, 2 and 3 methylthiophenes, methane thiol, and dimethyl sulfide. It's important to note that the discovery of organic compounds on Mars does not necessarily mean that there is or was life on the planet. Organic compounds can also be produced by non-biological processes such as geological processes or chemical reactions that can happen in the absence of life. However, the presence of organic compounds is considered to be a biosignature that can indicate that life existed or still exists on the planet. The discovery of ancient lakes and riverbeds on Mars is a significant finding in the history of Mars exploration. The evidence for ancient liquid water on Mars has been building for decades, with the Viking landers in the 1970s detecting signs of water vapor in the Martian atmosphere and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, in the 2000s imaging possible liquid water flows on the Martian surface. However, it was not until recent years that scientists have been able to confirm the existence of ancient lakes and riverbeds on the Martian surface. In 2015, a team of scientists announced the discovery of an ancient lake system in Gale Crater, the landing site of the Curiosity rover. The team found evidence of a lake that existed 3.5 billion years ago, with a depth of at least 1.5 meters, 5 feet, and an area of about 20 square kilometers, 8 square miles. The lake would have been filled with neutral water, which means that it would have been neither acidic nor alkaline, 
and would have been able to support microbial life. In 2018, another team of scientists announced the discovery of an ancient river system in Gale Crater. The team found evidence of a river that existed 3.8 billion years ago, with a width of about 20 meters, 66 feet, and a depth of about 1 meter, 3 feet. The river would have flowed for thousands of years, carving out a canyon and depositing sediment that eventually became the rock layers that Curiosity is currently exploring. The discovery of the ancient Martian Ocean is a significant finding in the history of Mars exploration. The evidence for the ancient ocean has been building for decades, with previous missions, such as the Viking landers in the 1970s, and the Mars Global Surveyor in the 1990s, suggesting the presence of an ocean in the northern hemisphere of Mars. However, it was not until recent years that scientists were able to confirm the existence of an ancient ocean on Mars. In 2015, a team of scientists announced the discovery of evidence for an ancient ocean that covered a significant portion of the northern lowlands of Mars. The team used data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO, to study the topography of the northern lowlands and found that the region has a smooth, flat surface that is consistent with the bottom of an ocean. The team also found that the northern lowlands have a different composition than the surrounding highlands, which is consistent with the presence of an ocean. The ancient Martian Ocean is estimated to have covered an area of around 4 million square kilometers, 1.5 million square miles, and had a depth of around 1.5 kilometers, 1 mile. It is believed to have existed around 4 billion years ago, and would have been a large body of neutral water, which means that it would have been neither acidic nor alkaline, and would have been able to support microbial life. The discovery of subsurface ice on Mars is a significant finding in the history of Mars exploration. In 2002, NASA's Mars Odyssey spacecraft used its thermal emission imaging system to detect large deposits of subsurface ice in the planet's midlatitudes, and since then, several other missions have confirmed the presence of subsurface ice on Mars. The discovery of subsurface ice on Mars is important because it not only provides evidence that the planet has a water cycle, but it also has implications for the potential habitability of the planet. The subsurface ice on Mars is believed to be mostly located in the polar regions and at midlatitudes, and is thought to be a mixture of water ice and ice composed of frozen carbon dioxide, CO2. The ice is thought to be located at depths of up to a few meters below the surface, and is believed to be formed by the accumulation of snow and ice over millions of years. The discovery of subsurface ice on Mars is important because it provides a potential source of water for future manned missions to the planet. The ice could be melted and used as a source of drinking water and to grow crops. Additionally, the presence of subsurface ice is considered to be a biosignature that can indicate that life existed or still exists on the planet.